So we got a really fun recipe for you guys today. We are doing our take on the classic custard cream. So it's a two part recipe. So first up, we're gonna make a lemon and thyme shortbread. We're gonna be using our Kenwood Chef and we're gonna be using the paddle attachment. See the paddle attachment on and we'll get started. For this dough, we're gonna start off by simply mixing together our butter and our sugar. So we're using 55 grams of icing sugar and 100 grams of butter. Best to have the butter at room temperature because you'll find if it's really cold from the fridge, it's gonna take much longer for the dough to come together. As the butter and sugar is mixing, we're gonna finely chop our thyme. Once the butter and sugar has been combined, we're gonna simply add the thyme and our grated zest of a lemon. Next in is 125 grams of flour and a pinch of salt. To bind everything together, we just simply need one egg yolk. Just mix on a low speed to combine everything together. So once everything's combined, our shortbread is good to go. Just a little bit of flour onto the work surface. So once you bring the shortbread together, everyone's tendency is to kind of bring it together until I get a little ball, but you're gonna find it's gonna set quite hard in the fridge because you're gonna to have to roll it out flat anyways. You're giving yourself an awful lot of work to do. So it kind of sets like a little rock. So best thing to do is just flatten it slightly. Half the hard work is done. Wrap it up into the fridge and then it'll be ready to go. We're gonna chill it for about half an hour to an hour at least. Um, this can always be done the day before. You could also double up the recipe and freeze it where it'll keep for about three months in the freezer. So our shortbread is made, it's in the fridge. In the meantime, we're gonna make our creme patisserie. So creme patisserie is pastry cream. It's a must have in any pastry kitchen. So versatile, great in donut fillings, amazing custard filling, which is gonna be perfect for our custard cream. So for the creme patisserie, we're using 50% milk and 50% cream. So we've got 250 milk, 250 cream. We're simply gonna warm that to just about a simmer in a medium sized saucepan. Then we'll add a little bit of vanilla extract. While that is warming, we are going to combine together our icing sugar, flour, and we're using four eggs, so two whole eggs and two egg yolks. Now we're not whisking it to like ribbon stage to get it low with the volume, because we're not looking to create any air here. We just mix it enough till everything is combined. Our milk and cream has just started to simmer. So very simply, what we're going to just do is pour in maybe about a half or so into our flour, egg, sugar mix. Whisk it in, it'll just help to loosen the mix. And then all of this is gonna go straight back into that saucepan. So once it goes back on the heat, you need to keep it moving, keep it stirring, because if you kind of just leave it sitting there, basically you'll end up making scrambled eggs. It's important that you do cook it out sufficiently, because later when we blitz in the butter, it will thin the mix down. And if you haven't cooked it out sufficiently here, your creme patisserie is gonna be quite thin and it won't kind of hold its shape, particularly when it's piped. So once you kind of think it's there, keep going for about another minute. So that's it. And even off the heat, because there's a good bit of heat still in the pan, just keep it moving for about 30 seconds or so. That's what we're looking for. So we're just gonna transfer it to a bowl. So we'll allow it to chill. And I'm gonna cover it with some cling film and you want to make sure the cling film is actually in contact with the surface of our creme patisserie, which will just stop a skin forming. So that's going into the fridge for 30 minutes, just to chill, take a little bit of the heat out of it, and then we're going to blend in the butter. So our creme patisserie is ready. Now it's not completely cold, there's still a little bit of warmth in the bowl, but that's what we want, because we need a little bit of warmth, which is going to help incorporate all our butter, and simply using the blender. Blend it in the butter now, and you can see how it's transformed. It's changed, it's beautiful and silky. It's shiny, it's got a lovely glossiness to it. So our dough has been nicely chilled. Depends on when you make this. If you make it overnight, you might find it quite hard. So you may need to let it sit out for a couple, maybe 15, 20 minutes before you plan to roll it. So just a little bit of flour on the table. And when you're rolling out, don't apply too much pressure. Take your time. Nice and gradual. You don't want to put too much pressure as you roll, so otherwise you can cause the, the shortbread to crack and break. And each time, keep it moving. Basically it means you know that the, the shortbread's not sticking to the counter. And then just before you get ready to cut it, make sure it's been moved around. So as you cut it then, it'll actually release cleanly. So depending on how big you want your custard creams to be, just choose the cutter to the size that you want. 
With the trimmings, you can reform it. You will feel the dough getting considerably softer again because it softens very quite quickly. So if needs be, if you need to pop it back in the fridge, just allow it to firm up to make it easier to work with, you can. But as you roll out the second time, you just need to be nice and gentle. So we're gonna bake these in a preheated oven at 175 degrees for 12 minutes. So our shortbread is baked. We're just gonna allow them to cool now. And then just to finish off our custard creams, very simply, it's our creme patisserie into a piping bag. So when you're piping, just aim towards the center, maintain the pressure, and it'll gently force the mix out. And don't be shy, be generous with your filling. Sit the other on top, squash it together, and you've a perfect custard cream. So that's our take on the classic custard cream, lemon and thyme shortbread filled with decadent vanilla creme patisserie. <laughs>